the Liftmaster garage door opener. Okay, it just took some angle iron, put it in the ground like that. I'm gonna put cement in a minute. Uh, you don't need to see that though. I mean, that's you know, beside the point, but all I did was took the garage door opener, put that in the ground, made this little thing right here to bolt onto this. The angle iron, I used the original pieces of the garage door opener. Put a piece of angle, bolted to some angle iron and put it in the ground. It's at least a foot in the ground, I think closer to two feet. And then bolted on this thing. I used a lug nut because the lug nut actually fit a locking lug nut from a, a car rim. And that's original garage door opener pieces. Every, every single thing except for the angle iron, which came from a bed frame, is uh, from a garage door opener. Okay. And here's my switch over here. And I do have the remote for it too, of course, you know. I took a piece of angle iron. Put a switch on it. And then uh, to close it, and then you hear it clicking that would like if there's something in the way, you got to do it two times. Right as I did this, uh, and when the neighbors was going by, when I opened it, he go, "What the?" He goes, "What'd you do to that?" He goes, "What'd you do to that gate?" And he just seen the thing on there hooked to it. He goes, "What is that?" And then I did the switch. I turned the switch. He goes, "What the?" He goes, "I'll give you two hundred dollars, and I'll buy the garage door opener if you could do it to my yard." He lives about three houses up.